Here's what to do to get a fast playback in DaVinci Resolve on any computer. Number one, change your timeline settings to HD. You can do this even if you work with 4K, 6K or 8K footage. And to do it, right click on your timeline in the media pool, then go to timeline, timeline settings, then deselect use project settings. And if your timeline is in a high resolution, change it to 1080p. This way, you can keep your working files resolution quite low, so the playback will improve and when you are finished, you can always change it back to 4K or whatever your initial resolution was. Number 2. Lower your timeline proxy resolution to lower the quality of the preview window. To do it, go to playback, then timeline proxy resolution and change it to half or quarter if needed. Number 3. Generate optimized media. Right click on your footage in the media pool and select generate optimized media. You can also do it by highlighting your clips on the timeline, then right clicking and selecting generate optimized media. And this way you'll create low resolution proxy files that DaVinci Resolve will use for the playback without affecting your export quality. You can also create your own proxy settings by going to project settings, then master settings, then scroll down to optimize media and render cache, and if needed, change it from original to half, quarter, one eight, and so on. Number four, if your computer really struggles, you can also use the bypass color grades and fusion effects button. This way, you can turn your color grades and fusion effects on and off to get a faster playback. Number five, if you have a lot of fusion compositions or title animations on your timeline, you can select them, then you can create a compound clip. And in order to improve the playback, you can hit render in place. And then you just have to choose the location where DaVinci Resolve will render out your compound clip. And also, if you want to go back to your original composition, you can right click on your compound clip, then select decompose to original, and then right click on your clip again and choose decompose in place using clips only. I hope you like these tips and let's catch up on the next one.